Good morning. Happy Friday. Thank you for tuning in. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Hop on, say hi. Let me know where you're from. And also let me know if it's the first time watching. We are going to get started. I got a lot to show you. Um, first, I'm going to flip the camera just so I can show you everything that I have. Okay, don't forget it is celebration time. That ends next Sunday, so you want to get those orders in so that you can get some free products. Or you can join my team and get 200 uh, sheets of 6x6 DSP, designer series paper, for free with the starter kit. Good morning, Meg. Good morning, Megan. I got Meg and Megan on right now. So thank you so much for tuning in. We are going to get started. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. Good morning, Karen. How's the weather in Florida? Cold and chilly and a little snowy here. I'm going to flip the camera now. Hey, Kathleen, how are you? Don't forget to share my videos, please. If you'd like to place an order with me, just go to stampersdelight.com. This is my host code for February. If you'd like to join my team, also go to stampersdelight.com. Can't stay long, but watch the replay. Okay. Good morning, Teresa. Another Kathleen. Good morning, Kathleen. Okay, we are going to get started. So what I'm going to be showing today is the new upcoming Butterfly Bouquet, Butterfly Brilliance. This is a special that if you join now, you join my team now, you can order this now. Otherwise, this comes out March 2nd for customers. You can buy the bundle or you can buy the whole inclusive uh, Butterfly Brilliance collection. This is going to be my online class for March. So if you buy or purchase, I should say, either the um, Butterfly Bundle, that's the, die, the dies and the stamp set, or the collection, you will get a, an exclusive tutorial from me and a card kit to make six cards, three designs, two of each. All you have to do is order either the bundle or the um, collection from me. Note that the papers that come in the collection I, are only while supplies last, which means they're not going to be in the next catalog. Okay, so for your uh, more bang for your buck and plus you get the 10% off, would be the collection. Okay, so that is available April, um, March 2nd. Okay, so let's put that back here. Real quick, I just want to give a shout out to a few cards that I didn't show yet. And this is to my friend Cookie. This is a cute little, we used to love the house mouse stamps. I still do. So this was a birthday card for my friend Cookie. This was another one. Remember that stamp? That was a great stamp. This is from my friend Kathy. I don't like to leave put out last names, sorry. And this is from my friend Stacy. And this is from my friend Jill. Jill, thank you so much. She always puts a nice little post-it note in there and a nice little card for me to reuse. So thank you so much, Jill. And I got this cute little um, bookmark from, from her. So thank you so much for making that. I love that. She uh, laminated that. Isn't that great? Hey, Angie. Hey, Sandra. Hi, Joyce. And I also got, um, look at all that glitter. Another birthday card. This is from Karen V. Thank you, Karen. And also a thank you note from her for flowers that I sent when her sister passed away. Yeah, that's sad. We miss Deb. Okay, so let's get started. So again, I did the Butterfly Brilliance. Uh, let me bring these in so you can see them. I'm also using the Happy Thoughts stamp set. This is the stamp. You're going to see me use this today a couple different ways. It's a very large stamp fits on that large block or the stamparatus, which I'm going to show you inside. I did a lot of pre-cutting because I'm on the early shift today. A lot of beautiful, intricate dies. And then we have this one large one that cuts out all of these. Plus it cuts out, as I showed you before, let me bring it in. Okay. 
on the designer series paper, there is one designer series paper that fits right on there and you can cut out all those butterflies all at once. So I did show you all of this before. These, I'll show you what those do in a second. We have the designer series papers. You can see I've been using mine. And we have this great specialty paper, which has a little texture to it. But you can add this to these pieces. This piece right here, it adds some, uh, some more texture to it. Can you see that? That's pretty cool. This right here pokes out all those little holes and you'll see a card that I did with that shortly. If I don't get to your questions, I will later. I just wanna get through everything that I have to show you today. Okay. So one thing I always wanted to say, I always forget, I don't show you often enough, is when you have really intricate dyes like this, I mean, our embossing machine does cut them out really well, but you also want to use our wire brush and matte set. Now, mine is the old one. The new one actually is just the head of this, and it pops right onto your take your pick tool. I don't have the new one because I have three of these, so, uh, but I think I need to invest in the new one. Okay, I wonder, ooh, this comes off. I wonder if it would fit in there. I'll have to try that. Maybe it will. But anyway, I have the old one. But what you do is you run it through your uh, big shot, or embossing machine, and then before you pop it out of the, just run it like that, and then on the other side, your paper will fall out nice and easy. If the paper falls out first, just run the paper through it like this, and um, those little dots will come out. I'm looking at what book can both butterflies fit in each other answer to your question is you would cut this out and then you could I mean they're not gonna fit right inside that die okay but yes the answer to your question is yes you see how these fit right in there so you would cut those out so you would stamp okay let me let me explain it this way you could color this stamp it cut it out and then you could do um you could cut it out that way too i think that's what you're asking so yes they fit right in there but but you can't you can't cut them all at one time if that's what you're asking and i apologize if you're not just let me know if that's not what you were talking about kathleen we got two kathleen's on here okay i'm just going to put that aside for a second all right. Who's ready to see some samples? Wipe the dye with a dryer sheet and the paper falls out much easier. Yeah, it does. Um, thank you, Angie. I will tell you, a lot of these intricate dyes, though, they really do fall out pretty easy to begin with. Okay, so let's get started with some samples, okay? All right, so the first one I did was just quick thank you cards. And this is our... Um, very vanilla note card. Okay, so I just, what I did was I just inked this up and I just stamped it this way. So that was just a quick, easy note card that's for a thank you. I'll have still shots later on, okay? The next one is a sneak peek, which I usually don't do, but this is a sneak peek from my um, mini retreat, which just ended. You were wondering if they could be cut together. No, they can't. They they don't quite fit. I wouldn't try it. But then again, I might just to see if it does work. But the the uh, intricate die is just a little larger than that. So this is a sneak peek of one of the cards from my mini retreat. I let the um, stampers get a sneak peek of this. So here's one of those uh, butterflies that were cut out. You can see I put I used an embossing folder here. Just a cute, quick note card. Thank you card. The next one, and this I, I want to get to show you everything, so I'm gonna probably going to kind of go fast. Okay, so now we have, this is where I stamped these, okay? And then I cut it out with this large die. And you can stamp this, cut out all those dots, 
color them and cut out all those dye, uh, all those butterflies all at once. The background, if you can see it, it's got two tone to it. And I'm going to show you how I did that too. All right. So, and I like to pop these up on dimensionals. I know they're going to flatten out in the mail, but not totally. So, and here's another, here's another, um, portion of where you can see the two tone, whoop, the two tone of those butterflies. So this is, you've been on my mind. Now, the thing I want to show you that we tend to forget is all these other butterfly sets. We have the floating and fluttering, beauty abounds and butterfly gala. So from the butterfly gala, I used, you've been on my mind. So you can mix and match. Don't forget all, I, and I know you're thinking, well, what do I need another butterfly set for? Because it's totally different. So inside, I did the same thing. I used the happy thought saying, and then I stamped the background like this. Isn't that great? What do you think? Okay, the next one I'm going to show you, I used our specialty paper from the mini catalog, that uh, pearlized paper. Can you see that? I also used something that I totally forgot I even had for a while, and that is our dandelions embossing folder. And look what I created with this. Let me put that over there. I'm running out of room already. So behind here is that embossing folder on the pearlized paper. And then I cut using the intricate dies. And you can lay them all on one piece and get all those dies out at one time. And I layered that on some very vanilla. Oh, thank you. Sorry for your loss. Unfortunately, we do need these kind of cards. Now, this envelope was left over from the Bird Ballad um, last year, and I have some envelopes left over. So what I did instead of stamping on it is I embossed my envelope. I embossed the lip. You can see that. And the side of it. Okay. All right, the next one I did basically the same idea, but I used some of that specialty paper. And again, this little butterfly right here is from Beauty Abounds. And that just goes so well with this stamp, uh, this new stamp set because you can use that little one on your envelope. So what I did was I used our rectangle dies to cut out a frame. Again, the dandelion embossing folder is behind there. These are also done with the pearlized paper. Again, it's another um, sympathy card. Now I wanna show you what I did here. I put the pearls down the center of the butterfly. This one I put one in the center, but then I put them on their little antennas, the little tiny ones. Okay, so this is just another variation of using that with that pearlized paper and the new specialty paper. Wishing I Could Heal Your Heart. Uh, that is from, which one is that from? I forgot which one that's from, but I'll put all the, I'll put everything in the, uh, oh, that's from the Heal Your Heart, duh. <laughs> so I'll put everything that I used in the description, okay? I used a lot of different things with this just because it was, I mean, they just coordinated so well. Okay, that's the next one. Okay, now we're gonna get into, let's see. First, before I get into what I'm going to actually show you, I want to show you a scrapbook page that I did. Uh, real quick, I'm going to tell you a little story. When my dad passed away, we went to the cemetery, of course. I didn't notice this until afterwards when we were at the restaurant. My girlfriend was telling me that uh, while we were at the cemetery, a swarm of butterflies was around my head, and I didn't see it, of course. While she was telling me, true to, I swear to God, this is the truth. While she was telling me this, we were standing outside at the restaurant. While she was telling me this, a monarch butterfly came and swirled around the top of my head. After that, every time my mother was around for, oh, I mean, a good, good part of a year, no matter when I talked about this story, a butterfly would appear. Kid you not. So what I did was I took... The background butterfly, again, that big stamp. I made a background on a piece of our white 12 by 12 paper. 
And I'm going to show you how I got that two-tone, don't forget. This is for my dad. This is a picture of him and his mother when he was like 17. These all have special memories, of course. This is him and my father when we used to go to Myrtle Beach for vacation. This is yeah, this here, you see my, my, my son with a bow, giving my father a bucket, okay? It's an empty bucket. My father had this thing about saving buckets, so my son saved one and put a bow on it for Christmas. And then this was a restaurant that we used to go up to in Warrensburg every year. And we always had the same wait waitress for years and years and years. And this was our last year there. So anyway, what I did was I used that big background stamp and made a background. Then this die right here, you see it's all one die. That is from the Butterfly Beauty. You see that die right there? Let me take it out. There's that die. So mix and match your butterflies. This is why you need them all. And then, of course, with the new one, I cut out these. And I added them to them. Now, the pearls, I colored with our blends. And there will be a still shot of that, too. And what better sentiment than it's a million little things. It's a million little things that you remember. So that is from the Beauty Abounds also. And so is that. Uh, die. It's a million little things. I hope you like that. That's probably one of my favorites. Okay. The next thing I'm going to show you, and I'm at, we're actually going to stamp now. Let me see what time it is. Oh, good. I'm doing good. Okay. Is I did this uh, pop-up card two years ago. I think it was on a Christmas, on the Christmas globe set. Thought it was time to bring it back with the butterflies. Again, these butterflies were cut out and I used Wink Estella. I used the Happy Thoughts Birthday. Um, these are from the So Sentiment dies. Oh, thank you, Terry. Yes, it is. It is the hardest thing, but they're watching over us. Girls never get over their dads. So this one I layered on and I made it a pop-up card. I am going to show you how to do this because I think it's the easiest pop-up card going. Again, I did this card like two or three years ago, and you can look at it on my videos. It was with the snow globe. Just Google or go to YouTube under Stamper's Delight and put pop-up card snow, uh, snow globes. Thank you, Kathy. So there's a pop-up card, again, using the happy thoughts and the cutouts. So I didn't even stamp those. That's one of them. And then the next one I did, again, this is all with that designer series paper. I did this with the intricate dies. So I really wanted you to see the difference with all this. Now, this die right here, let me find it because I've used so many different dies with this, is this stamp right here, and there's a die to match that to cut it out in the floating and fluttering. Again, everything will be in the description. So here we go with the intricate dies, or detailed dies. I just use the word intricate. Now there, I use the regular stamp, and then the, the overlay. So again, stamp this, cut it out, and then those detailed dies go right on top. Thank you, Danette. So there's another pop-up card. And as soon as I saw this stamp set, I knew I had to do this card again. Okay, so let's do this one first, because I do have one more to show you and do, and I hope I have enough time. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my pieces of cardstock. Okay, so this one, we're going to bring this in. This is our regular half a sheet of cardstock. I'm just using this for measurements. Okay, so this is our five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm going to go ahead and score that in the middle. The inside layer, just so you can see it, is five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So five and a quarter by eight and a quarter, I will put the dimensions on there. You're going to go ahead and score that right in the middle, and for this one, I usually just 
do it this way so I know I'm getting it right in the middle. So let me just fold this. Okay. So it's folded in the middle. Now there's two ways that you can do this. You can go to two and a quarter, which is the measurements I use, okay? Two and a quarter. Let's bring that down to two and a quarter to three and score it this way. Or you can make yourself a little template like I did and put two and a quarter by three. Angle that right in there. This is it. This is the fold. It's so easy. Even if you don't get... And put tick marks if you need it. I just kind of usually layer it there. Remember, you're trying to get two layers of cardstock there and pull it out. So once I have that, I can bend that just so I know where it is. Okay? And then you just want to see that faint score line. That's it. Okay. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you are going to pinch this. This is the hard part for me. You're going to pinch that inward. Okay. Pinch it. Pinch it. And the same thing with this. Just pinch that. Once you get it pinched, you're going to fold it. Remember, there's one that I did three years ago on my YouTube channel. And there's your fold. That's it. Isn't that great? Okay, so now let me show you real quick how I did the inside. And I just need this. Okay, there's a couple ways you can use this. The Stamparatus works really well, but for what I want, I'm going to use it this way. I'm going to take... Uh, let's see, what colors am I... I think I'm going to use yellow and... Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Coastal Cabana. I want light colors. And I'm going to tap that. I just need a couple of these right now. Tap that color. I'm going to go in my Mango Melody. I have no idea how it's going to come out. They all come out different. Tap that. And tap some more color in there and some of them could be too dark so you want to use lighter colors now let me grab a piece of paper which I forgot so give me one second to grab a blotter paper And you could do this before you do the fold. Okay. And I am going to just stamp this. Let's see, I ink these up, so I'm going to stamp it on this side. Let's see. Um, all right, let's do this. It came out a little light, but you see how it has the two colors. All right, so let's do that again. I'm going to use the top ones now. So this time, I'm going to do it this way. All right. This, just play with this. The yellow, I'm going to ink it off once. I don't want, don't want it too dark. And then I'm going to tap in some color there. Just depends on the colors that you use. All right. Now this one I'm going to do right here. Yeah, that one came out a little better. So you see how you get the two-tone colors. And it, you want it faint because it's the inside of your card. All right, we're going to be using that again, so I'm going to put that over here. So I am going to grab, let's see, we're going to make this a happy birthday. So we are going to grab the happy thoughts. And I'm going to use the Coastal Cabana. Yeah, I got that open. The happy thought saying. And I'm going to put that right over one of those. There we go. Butterflies. This is why you want it a light color. Okay, because you're stamping right on top of it. All right, we're going to bring in that Just Jade. Fold that up. Take your adhesive.
You're going to nestle that right to the score line. Just up a little bit. You want to see a little bit of green. We're going to fold that. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Again, if you're leaving me questions, I will get back to you. But I want to get through these. And there's your fold. Okay, I've already cut these pieces. So let me go ahead and do the front of this. So this is our uh, Mango Melody, which has to be trimmed a little bit. So let me trim that. And this should be four by five and a quarter. Whoops. That's good. That's going to go right in here. But before I do that, I'm going to bring in this. And I love this because it looks like the sky. This is three and a quarter. And this should be three and a quarter by five or a smidge. And I think, yeah, so we're just going to do three and a quarter by five. So that layers right up there. Remember, if you order the bundle or the collection from me starting March 2nd, until my kits run out, you will get um, a card kit and a tutorial. And we'll have some fun folds in there too. Okay, that's going to go right up here. So we're just going to go ahead and layer that down. Oh, uh, that's okay, Sabrina. Just watch the rerun because a replay because you definitely want to see this. Okay, we are going to layer that right here. Now I may not put as many embellishments on this card because I really want to get through it. And I am going to take a tag that I already have cut out because I didn't pre-cut one. Um. This one happens to be a leftover from Paper Pumpkin, so we'll use that. Okay, we'll use that one, and we'll put Happy Birthday. Or maybe, yeah, we'll use Happy Birthday. I'm going to use the Happy Birthday in the Mango Melody. Now, I'm going to take this, I'm going to huff on it, and just get some of those little butterflies, if anything's left there. You see how I'm getting just a little bit of the wing. <sighs> okay. This we're going to put on with dimensionals. And let me get my take your pick tool. I knew I was going to have a lot to show you in a short amount of time. So are you loving this collection yet or what? Three and three fourths. Thank you. Three and three fourths. Yes, France. Thanks for three and three fourths. What I say? Three fourths. Okay. You know to look at the measurements when I'm done. Okay. We're going to put that right there. Now I'm going to bring in these butterflies. I already have some cut, as you can see. I'm going to take this one, and of course, I'm going to add some Wink Estella. Real quick, because I have a second card to do. Okay, you get the picture there. I'm going to take this large one. I'm going to bend that just a little bit. I'm going to use some mini dimensionals if I have them here. Yes, I do. If you don't, just cut your larger ones in half. And write down the body of this butterfly. I'm going to put three of these. Oh, Linda, just watch. Yes, watch the whole thing later. And I'm just put that right there. Press that down. There is the front of my card. Now, of course, I added pearls and all that, right? I want to get to the second card. This one, you just have to make sure that it's not going to um, get in the fold line. So what I do is, in this one, I'm going to use regular dimensionals. I'm going to grab this. 
Can you see? I'm putting it just on those outs, that wing. Okay. And I'm putting it right into the fold and I'm closing the card so that when I open it, there it is. This pink one I will put over here. But again, remember, it's got to go where the fold, so you can fold the card. All right, so let me show you again this one. So you see I have the smaller one there. So let's see. Well, this fit. This will fit right here. So on this one, and I mean, you can do it any way you want. This is just so you can see how to make the card. Oh, yeah, you got to have this sweet. You're right. You never have enough butterflies. I'm going to put that one right in there. Just don't get it. Make sure it's between those fold lines. So this folds this way. And I'm thinking I might even be able to put one this way. Let's see. Let me see. You just have to. Let me see. Let's play with this one. I'm thinking I can put one right on the end here. You just want to make sure that it's inside enough. So I'm going to just put one dimensional, a little dimensional here for a second. See if I can do this. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to just line that up just like that. Let's see what happens when I open it. Okay, so this is really on the fly. Nah, I don't like him there. So I'm going to peel him off real quick. I think I want him down further. Okay, let's try this. Yep, there we go. So what I did was I just put it on the end of this butterfly so that when you open it up, you've got all the butterflies. Is that gorgeous or what? Okay, and of course I have a strip left over. Remember, all the dimensions, everything will be on my page, my Facebook page and my blog later after work. I apologize if you watch me on YouTube on Monday nights. I haven't been on YouTube uh, the last two weeks on Monday nights. Please subscribe to the channel so you know when I'm going to be on. Work has been kind of rough. So um, I'm, I always hope to hop on, but I never know till the last minute. So just check YouTube at 7 o'clock on Mondays. If I get a chance, I do hope to be on there this Monday. Okay, but again, it all depends on my work schedule. Don't forget Sundays. I'll be back with my celebration Sunday. Okay, so there's the envelope, the matching envelope. And I'm going to put some sequins on here when I'm done. Actually, I got the sequins right here. Let's do the sequins now. So I'm just going to add some of these blue sequins that I have here. What time is it? Oh, I got to get going. I got to show you the last card. So I'm just going to add some sequins around this. I always, I don't know why, I always pick out a lot of things to do on a Friday morning when I know I have to work, but it's all good, right? Remember, you're going to get to make some gorgeous cards with my online class when you order this suite or bundle. Okay, the next one I want to show you, are you ready? Now, we all hoard things. For me, it's glitter paper. So for this one... I hoarded the Dazzling Diamonds glitter paper and the black. Oh, before I show you that, let me close these up because I will get my hand in them. Okay, there's the envelope. Are you ready? So I used the black glitter paper. Yes, I know you can't order this, but if you hoarded this, you can do, you see this, this card right here. Look at that. Can I bring it? I bring it up. Look at all those butterflies. What do you think? So this right here is the die that I was telling you about. This one cuts holes like brick back there. And this one just makes a zigzag pattern. I did. Oh, here it is. I'll show you the, the zigzag pattern. So there's that one. And the zigzag pattern looks like that. I didn't do anything with that one yet. But this one, and of course that's our Love Always paper, is just a congratulations card. But look at all those gorgeous butterflies. 
All right, so let's see what we're gonna do with this one. So I'm gonna bring in our Mango Melody and I've got our Magenta Madness. I'm gonna bring in real quick that one that cuts out paper. This is three and three quarters. It's gonna go on top. I am gonna run this through my die cutting machine. So give me one second. I'm gonna just do that behind the scenes so that we can get it done real quick and I can show you what happens, okay? I apologize for not bringing it on the table, but I'm trying to do it fast so that I can show you something else before I run out of time. One more time. I just wanted to show you how these cut, cut everything out. So there's the cutouts. And then when you layer it onto your paper, you can see some of this. All right, but how about if we take our rainbow glitter paper instead? So let me add that to the back. So there's the pink. How about if we add this instead? Look at that. So I'm gonna take the pink away and I am just gonna cut this one. I've got all these cards all over here. So I want this F. So even though, even if you don't have the black and the uh, white paper, you can use this one. That's already at four. And I'm gonna do, let's see, I'm gonna do four and a quarter, uh, five and a quarter there. I'm just cutting that standard size here. And that's gonna layer right back there. Okay, so let me grab my glue. I may not finish this card, but you'll get the idea. I'm gonna layer that right on top. So it just got a little bit of the glit glitter edging, but you can see it behind there. All right, let's layer that right down. I'm having so much fun with these butterflies. Just like that. And then I've already cut out some, so let's see what they look like. So I have a few of these. And I, I'm not going to have a time to finish the card, but I do. I will put that on my uh, blog later. I just want to show you how you can create the same card, the black and white card, using the glitter paper, the, the rainbow glitter paper, which is absolutely gorgeous. I know, it's so pretty. I want to play with it all day. And then they also have these little butterflies like that, but I'm not gonna use that. I want another small one. Ooh, green one will do. Yes, the green. I think I just need one there. I got 10 minutes. Look at that. Same idea. Let's see, do I have something I can stamp real quick? Let's do uh, congratulations. Again, I'll use the Mango Melody. Oh no, let's see, do I have Magenta Madness here? Uh, nope, let's grab the Bermuda Bay. I'm just gonna stamp congratulations over here because I'm gonna cut that down. That is actually gonna go right here. Just gonna snip off an end here. Mm -hmm. 
And you know what? I'm going to do it this way. I am going to put that right there. And then I'm going to flip it over and cut it off. I didn't cut it too straight, so let's do that right here. Should have used my paper trimmer, but I'm rushing here. Okay, now I got the end cut off. Just a quick congratulations. I can straighten that out later. But you get the idea. You can do the same thing with the card I just showed you in black and white with our glitter paper. Isn't that nice? Okay, last thing, real quick. I'm going to take this off the block. I'm going to clean it off. And something I use a lot behind the scenes is our Stamparatus. I am going to put this right here. Okay. I'm going to show you something that I can do with this. All right. I am going to take our... This is how I did the background of my dad's page. I'm going to make sure to clean that off. Okay. I'm going to take the yellow Daffodil Delight. I'm going to take the pumpkin pie, use my blending brushes, get some ink on there and just, same thing I showed you before, but it's a lot easier sometimes to use the Stamparatus on these large stamps. I am going to take just a half a sheet of, <clears throat> a quarter sheet of cardstock. And this is how I made the background for the card with the two-tone. And then I'm just going to lay this in here, and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's a background, and it's smaller than that stamp, okay? I don't have my magnets on there. You also want to use your magnets. But since I'm running out of time, I just wanted to show you this. Whoop. Okay. And there you have a beautiful background with different colors. Actually got some green in there because I didn't clean off all the blue. So I hope you enjoyed <clears throat> this video on the uh, butterfly bouquet. Don't forget, uh, everything will be in the description later. And let's see, uh, somewhere over here I have a stamp set to give away. But I lost it. So let's find that. Oh, here it is. So on Sunday, I'll be featuring uh, Approaching Perfection. So I'm going to give this away today. So you're going to start guessing what number. Guess starting now, 1 through 25. Okay? Uh, U.S. only because that's where I can... Unless you're uh, in another uh, country and you want to have me send it to a friend in the U.S. Oh, thank you, everyone. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. You all have a great day, too. Sorry I'm rushing here, but I wanted to show you so many things, and I still have to take pictures of them. Not 17, not 18. Start guessing for the number 1 through 25. The winner will get this stamp set. Still waiting for a winner. Still waiting for a winner. Linda O'Connor. Linda O'Connor, guest number six. This goes to Linda O'Connor. Linda, I think I have your address, but just send it to me just in case, okay? Linda O'Connor, this is your stamp set. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. I will have still shots on um, my Facebook page later on. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend, everybody. Don't forget my celebration uh, YouTube video on Sunday. It is not live.
but you can see it there. And I hope to see on Monday, but no promises, <laughs> on YouTube at 7 p.m. Just check it out, see if I'm there, okay? I apologize for that. Have a great weekend, everybody. Keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.